checking on Money Matters this morning. Americans are returning to coffee shops. And the stock market could use a pick-me-up after yesterday. Jane King joins us live from New York with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. So, yes. could, my, so could my stock portfolio and retirement account. Yeah, really? Good morning. Uh, we called that the Monday miracle yesterday. First of all, it looks like we could be in for some more volatility today. So right now we're pointing to about a 250-point loss at the open. The Federal Reserve meets today and tomorrow. And we'll probably outline interest rate increases. So some nervousness about that. But man, what a day yesterday. The Dow down 1,100 points, then climbed all the way back and actually closed positive. Uh, by the way, the Russian stock market down 27% so far this year. One of the big worries yesterday was the escalating tensions between Russia and Ukraine. Well, American Airlines has slashed thousands of domestic flights for March and what is typically the busiest travel month in the first quarter for business travelers. The more than 10,000 flights dropped across America is the latest example of the prolonged impact of COVID and the continuing impact that it's having on that industry. Now, if you used apps like Venmo and Robinhood and American Express, you may be owed some money. The fintech company Plaid is paying out $58 million to customers of 5,000 apps that use its interface. Now, the users claim that the company got bank information and other information that wasn't necessary for the people to use the app. And research from the data analytics firm Placer AI found people are grabbing a cup of coffee at stores again for a while we were doing it all at home starbucks dunkin donuts others seeing an increase in foot traffic now in november coffee shops saw an eight and a half percent jump in foot traffic compared to 2019 and december saw a seven and a half percent increase live from new york i'm jane king